episode the engines in on its mount uh, but they're only currently tack welded together uh, today we're going to start the process of fully welding each one of these mounts as well as addressing whatever it is that mounts to them and as I said before the front near side is a radiator off side is the alternator and the rear is a gear change so let's pick them out and crack on with it mm, gearbox This is an inside engine mount. When I first built this, I couldn't confirm the location of the engine as the rest of the subframe wasn't built. Since doing so, I've been able to reposition the engine, but that has required me to change this engine mount. Unfortunately, this gusset, as you can see, does not line up at the top here, or at the bottom there, and this one is also too tall. First job is to clean this up, fully weld the mount that I can, trim that gusset down, and replace that one. This mount also doubles up as a locating uh, position for the radiator mount, which I've also built. However, this now no longer fits with this in its new position. So this is also gonna have to be altered. Today's software of choice is Asda Chicken and Bacon Pasta Bake. So that's the near side engine mount all fully welded up and the gussets trimmed back. The next step is to start modifying the radiator bracket and all the additional holes that are required in this mount for this to connect to. So we have a cardboard template here which will replace the back part of this, the hole there gets lined up with the bolt hole on the mount and then what we'll do is we'll put another small probably M6 tapped hole here, another bolt to stop this mount from twisting. Previously this was further down but has ended up where that weld seam is. That's the new back now to the radiator mount. Uh, what we need to do is transfer this small hole here onto the engine mount, and then this can be tapped to an M6, so that, that small bolt in the engine mount holds the radiator mount like so. So 
So I've finished tapping the engine mount uh, and I've drawn, drilled the clearance hole in the radiator mount. So now I've got to check that this fits on the engine mount. And as long as it does, this can go back into the car. All good. I'm not going to bore you with uh, refitting this back to the engine as you can see that the uh, light's gone dark. Um, I will pick up on the radiator mount on another day. This is the rear engine mount or differential mount because it bolts to the differential on the gearbox. I've got two issues with this. One, I can't get a bolt in between the rear plate here and the gearbox. And the other is I need to make the gear linkage line up with this little tab. This little tab was a bit of an afterthought and so eventually I'm going to make this rear plate all one piece which includes this tab. First thing I'm going to address, gear linkage. might be wondering why I'm going to cut this off and reposition it when I fully intend to replace this back plate with a single piece. The reason for doing it is I can use this as a template to make a new one, line it up and just drill through all the holes and go back in the right place. This is part of the gear linkage bracket which will require some modification in order to make it work with the new engine mount. I just realized I've built walls a mile high. The start of a trimmed down gear linkage bracket. The end of it there will be trimmed in a bit.
on and on to what I know to everything I've learned. What is real and fabricated? What is wrong? What is my problem? How can I get out of this world that I created? Fighting storms in my head. Don't know where I have been. I'm alone. No one to turn to. No one understands. Shit's too complicated. You might have seen in earlier shots this notch cut out of the differential mount. This is to clear the drive shafts. Now I never fully cut this out, it should be semicircular. So we now need to complete this on a new mount. Tell me nothing. Made it through the rain. I turn nothing into something. No more dealing with the assumptions. Cause I do what I gotta do and I know. Uh, uh, oh, oh, Can't nobody do it like me. All they do is judge me for who I might be. Maybe it takes some time to fix my mind to see that I'm cooler than nothing tonight. Uh, all I wanna do is live it up with the homies. Everybody really talking mad that they know me. But I guess I gotta face it. I'm so tired of being. Now that the plate's complete, we need to clean up where it's going to be welded and tack weld the mount on. I don't want to keep on wasting a life. Yeah. Keep in my head, I'm losing to life. Uh -huh. And if you could know, yeah, if I could show you. I don't want to keep on living this life so faceless. Test fit again to the car. Mount removed, the next steps are to drill this additional hole, trim the bottom of the engine mount, and weld it on up.
In order to stop the back plate of this engine mount warping, I've clamped it down to this large piece of box section, which should hopefully act as a heat sink. Uh, this seam here will also be TIG welded, but I'll do the last more once I've welded everything else with the MIG. Now that the rear engine mount is sorted, it's time to turn to the driver's front one, which also doubles up as part of the alternator mount. I'm not going to work on the alternator mount at the minute because that's ideally a job that needs to be done when this engine is out of the car. So for the time being, we're just going to get the front welded up and refitted. First job, remove it from the car. And now on to the final mount. Uh, modification needs to be made to this before it gets fitted back to the car and fully welded. We need to make a relief underneath the mount here. Previously, when I first designed this, uh, this bottom edge of this mount lined up the bottom edge there, and that sat just above the rubber mount that's currently fitted to the Mini. Now, unfortunately, this is just rubbing on the edge. Behind it, there is about five mil clearance before the engine block, so we can just relieve that out.
it for this episode i uh, hope you've enjoyed it if you have please click that like button uh, if you've got any questions feel free to leave a comment below and if you want to keep up to date with the build then please subscribe to my channel or you can follow the link in the description below to the build thread on the mini forum thanks for watching <laughs>